Hey, beautiful loves. Happy Saturday. Oh. <sighs> I had every intention of doing this video. Video. <laughs> I had every intention of doing this video in a completely different headspace. And then things just happened. My mum came home. Triggered the fuck out of me. <sighs> and I'm still going to show up anyway. <sighs> it feels really good to be here. It feels really good to be back. It feels really good to be showing up and expressing what's been going on for me these last few weeks, especially. This video is going to be really different to any video that I've filmed before. And I just want to presence that. It's just going to be different. If you're new here, you won't know the old ways, and that's perfect. <sighs> if you've been around for a while, then I'd invite you to lean into this new depth, this new expression, this new expansion, this new purpose. Mm -hmm this new freedom, this new creation, this new creativity with me. <sighs> My intention for this video truly was to just press play and have an hour where I could just create truly from my soul, from my body, from my being and just express and literally, quite literally see what came through. And something that I've been playing with lately. <sighs> is this idea that this is actually an energetic transmission and 99% of what I create and what I want to communicate in this video actually doesn't require words. And so what I'm playing with, and I say playing with because it's still very new for me to come on live and film something like this. But what I'm playing with the energy of is quite literally showing up and communicating or expressing through energy and frequency alone. Because what it started to feel like is that words are kind of old school. <laughs> words are kind of like up here stuff. And we're going for like down here stuff. You can't see. I'm like pointing to like here. You can't even see. <laughs> but it's like embodiment, true, real embodiment. And the kind of energy and the kind of ooh, aliveness that doesn't actually need words to communicate. <sighs> there's so much like energy flowing through my body right now it's really beautiful it feels like it feels pleasurable it's what it feels like it feels like pleasure What I feel called to share right now is that
We don't need to be addicted to stress and achievement anymore. The new paradigm or the new way. <sighs> it's about rest. It's about living. It's about experiencing the aliveness running through our body that is capable of filling us up and experiencing itself through us in any given moment. And it doesn't come from chasing out there. It comes from embodying and pulling up in here. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> if you're new to this channel, you're just like, what the fuck is this chick on right now? Seriously. And this is perfect. No, sorry. No. And that's also perfect too. <laughs> but seriously, if you're new here, we don't do this all the time. <sighs> But it's just this energy thing, you guys. It's changed me. Yeah. It feels like mm, mm, it feels like I don't actually have to do anything. I can create whatever experience I want to create in the being. It feels like being. It feels like aliveness. It feels like presence. Mm. You know what they are? And it feels like this is what we're here for. No. This is totally what we're here for inviting every experience, embracing every circumstance, bringing them inside of us instead of keeping them at arm's length and then transmuting whatever we need to into the highest expression for the highest good. And what that feels like for me at the moment is looking at everything, looking at all the things that I've kept away or I've rejected. Mm looking at all the things that I've rejected and pulling them close to me and facing them head on and confronting them and saying, hey, you're a piece of me. You're alive in me. You live in me. You're a part of me. I see you. I'm going to hold space for you and I'm going to accept you rather than continuing to push you away. Or make it seem like you're the other. Or somehow create this illusion in my mind that whatever is troubling me is out there. <laughs> yeah. And it feels like wanting to make everything in my life a pleasurable experience. And... <sighs> for me, that means discovering what feels good in my body, what feels good to do, what energy feels good to be in, and only saying yes to the things that make me come alive. <laughs> and in doing that, really owning the power of my no as well. Because when we say no to whatever's not in alignment, we can say yes to all the things that are. I'm just going to let some light in. <gasps> Let's see how we do it. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. 
This is perfect. <sighs> mm. So I actually want to share some stuff. Um, that's been coming up for me lately and that I've been processing. And a couple of months ago, I started working with a coach. And I'd gotten to a point where I was just really fucking burnt out. <laughs> I don't need to go too much into it, but I couldn't... Huh. I've never been able to full body orgasm and that was a real issue for me because I believe personally that how we show up in the bedroom and how we show up in our sex lives and in our self-pleasure practice and in our sexual bodies and our aliveness has a lot to do and is a metaphor how we show up in other areas of our lives. So for me, <laughs> not being able to come in that way <sighs> and surrender fully to the present moment and to expansion and explosions and full, full body pleasure was a reflection of where I was having trouble letting go in other areas of my life, whether it was in my business, in my relationships, in my relationship with God, in my spirituality. And so for me, this journey has been about so much, like so much. <laughs> But mostly it's been about expanding my capacity, recalibrating my entire nervous system so that I'm hardwired for pleasure, to receive from the universe, to receive energy, to receive pleasure, to receive all of the things that I want in my life, even to the point where it blows out the limits of what I believe I'm capable of. Yeah, yeah. So it's like shattering the expectations, shattering the illusions, shattering all of the preconceived notions or ideas about what I believe is possible and quite literally inviting in or opening myself up, expanding my capacity to receive those life-changing truths, those life-changing revelations. <sighs> And I'm just going to presence that. I have no fucking clue if this is going to make sense to anyone. <laughs> and I have no idea if this is going to be valuable or insightful or helpful in any way. I just know that it feels good to share it. It feels really good to share it. And I want to do things in my life right now and in my business, but mostly in my life right now that just feel really fucking good. And there's no agenda behind this. The only intention, there's no intention really apart from to create because it feels good to create. And I feel like if I died tomorrow, I said to my coach the other day, if I died tomorrow, my tombstone or my epitaph could read, <laughs> she stopped missing the fucking point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so for me this journey and I can feel the energy flowing through my body at the moment but for me this journey has been <sighs> learning when I'm rushing and slowing everything down to feel into every moment to stop striving for the outcome and embody deeply the end result. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Insane, hey. <laughs> um, so for me, 
what that's looked like <sighs> is really checking in in every area of my life where I feel the need to rush <sighs> and for me I had I had all these limiting beliefs come up around <sighs> if you don't take action straight away you never will the idea will leave you it'll never get done and I had all these sort of preconceived ideas or notions about what this should look like and it kind of led me to be massively overexpressed and I was kind of just showing up I felt like it but I didn't really want to there was no desire there I felt like it but I didn't know why I felt like it I felt like it but it was superficial feeling like it it was like it made sense here but there was no desire around here And I noticed that. I noticed that in a lot of areas of my life. There was, it made a lot of sense here, but I didn't feel it here. And I was doing this thing where I was showing up because I felt like I had to. Like I had something to prove like I just kept hearing keep showing up keep showing up keep showing up and it's like for me what I thought that looked like was showing up on lives showing up on social media and it just felt empty it felt empty I had the spark I had the creative inspiration I had the download I had the yeah that inspiration flow through me but it was almost like I just had to get it out really quickly so it'd come up and I'd just, it'd come up again, it'd come up and it was just this frantic energy. It's just so up here and so like, oh, and wired and like, oh, it was, yeah, it was getting me fried. Like I was kind of fried. Um, to be honest, I was kind of walking around like on edge all the time and I still do a little bit and I'm kind of learning how to like, like relax into life and be okay and feel safe and be okay with just being not feeling like I have to like do from here all the time um but yeah this feeling of aliveness because fuck that's what I want to feel hey I want to feel alive I want to feel massively alive and it doesn't look like happy all the time it just looks like alive it means like electricity flowing through my body like I can play with the energy around me I have like <laughs> I have creative power to do whatever I want to do I can activate the back of like my pineal gland I can you know explore and experiment with all of this beautiful stuff all around me and it's got nothing to do with what gets done and everything to do with how I be and my presence and the energy that I embody. Mm -hmm. <sighs> all aligned or all action gets to be born out of pure presence. Right? So it's not what do I want to do today? It's who do I want to be? How do I want to feel? And I'm going to get this wrong. <laughs> if there's a way to get it wrong, you can be sure that I'll do it. I'm going to stuff this up. I'm going to overexpress and underexpress. And I'm still so much like trying to find the fucking balance of what feels good for me. And because I know that 
or I believe that what feels good for me will be of service to the world. And there is zero point in me being frantic and up here, like regardless of what I achieve out there, there's literally zero point if it doesn't feel good in here. Like literally, what's the point of being on the planet? <laughs> If it doesn't feel fucking good, like if it doesn't feel, if you don't feel alive, if you don't feel connected, if you don't feel like tuned in and tapped in and turned on, like literally turned the fuck on, like what's the point of doing any of this <laughs> except to be the fullest expression? Mm. Mm. And I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the answers at all. I don't want to. I don't want to know. I kind of want to just like revel in the mystery, which is so weird for me because I'm so like, tell me what it is and tell me the answer and give me the response. <laughs> I just don't want to know right now. I just want to play in the mystery of it. I just want to feel it all. Mm. <sighs> I don't want to produce like, boom, like short, sharp, one-liners, catchy 15 second posts or videos. I, yeah, <sighs> I want to go into the deep. This is where the juiciness is. And it's where I'm at home. <laughs> I can play up there. I can play in the hype. I've tried, believe me. But in the depths, like here, down, rooted in the depths, that's where I come the fuck alive. <sighs> and I have had a lot of shame around that because it's like, now nah, you're too deep. And this little, like this self-judgment or this self-criticism kicks in of like, you're gonna to be too deep for two people, for some people. You're speaking too slowly, your energy's too full on, you're too much, like, it's just, and I think, to be honest, and a lot of this is still, I'm still healing, so just, like, bear with me right now, because this is like, it's really raw, um, and some of this is coming from an unhealed place, I just wanna presence that in my vulnerability. Um, like, I've heard a lot of my life, like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> like, just stop being so sensitive or just stop being, stop feeling everything so deeply or this kind of, like, the response that I've received when I've traveled into my depth is, like, can you just not go there? <laughs> like, and, or, like, I've just felt the shame around it to be completely honest because it is a lot it is a lot and um, and sometimes people don't want to go into the deep and that's perfect that's so fucking perfect everything and everyone is just like on their own perfect journey but I'm here and what I feel like I'm here to bring and give and do and who I'm here to be is depth And what that looks like is long, slow, juicy, <laughs> transmissions mm -hmm. where I can be in all of my aliveness and feel it all and transmit that and communicate. from a deeply rooted place. Mm. And I'm gonna get it wrong. And I'm gonna slip back into my head at certain points and 
I'm gonna lose my breath. And I'm gonna speak from here and here rather than here. Oh. <sighs> but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on being more fully embodied and deeply present and alive. And I hope you'll join me. There's just this like self-judgment that comes up around needing to get there quicker. Do you guys feel that? It's like, I felt it like when I've been in intimate relationships, like in sexual relationships before, like just hurry up already, like just get there quicker. And whether that's like to orgasm or to achieve something or to like be or embody a next level self. I just feel this like judgment or criticism or pressure from myself to like be there faster, get there quicker. You don't have time, just hurry up, <laughs> like go faster, rush. <laughs> and like, how often do we feel that from the world, right? Like how often do we get this message that it's like, you need to go faster. And how beautiful does it feel to go slow? <laughs> Seriously. How beautiful does it feel to go slow? And take all the time in the world. And take up time. <gasps> Because we can expand time. How good does it feel to take up time and expand time? I'll never forget, I watched a Gabby Bernstein video once where she said, speak your truth and time will expand. And it's like, wow what if we just lived our truth fully embodied it in each and every moment and time expanded and our time on the planet expanded and we got to do all of the things that we wanted to do and we got to be and feel and experience all the things that we wanted to be and feel and experience in this lifetime and we just had enough time and it was just an abundance of time that we got to play in and it wasn't like we had to rush to the next thing. We just got to be. And it's this beautiful expansion. And there's this expansiveness that comes out of that. It's like, fuck. <sighs> and I just want to presence that. This is like a tenth of what I've been feeling. And there's just like so there's so much that wants to come through me and out of me and there's like a, a the magnitude of this expression is like it's a lot bigger it's a lot bigger and also acknowledging that this is my fullness this is the fullness of all of who I am.